Hey there, I am Neil Smith. This is U.S. Captain's Training, and I hope you're ready to crunch numbers because this is Practice Problem 7. Here we go again. Great Circle Sailing, Distance and Initial Course, Practice Problem seven. Here we go. Hold on tight. Problem seven. Here we go. We get the givens. Everything given in the problem, which in this, these problems are just latitudes and longitudes. So we have lat one, which is equal to 2452 north, 24 degrees 52 minutes north and we have longitude one which is 78 27 west 78 degrees 27.0 minutes west and we have lat two which is 47 19 north 47 degrees 19.0 minutes north and longitude 2, which is equal to 642.0, 0, 06 degrees 42.0 minutes west. You know, this guy is left out. He has no zero. Let's give him a zero minutes north. Okay, now we're all even. So in the problem, we don't get to use minutes, we only use degrees. We need to convert all of these to only degrees. So how do we do that? We divide the minutes by 60. In all of these cases, we're just dividing these by 60. Let's go ahead and crunch those numbers. So this is going to be 24 whole degrees point, whatever this quotient is. 52 divided by 60 equals 0 0.87. 287 degrees now north. And now we have 78 point, whatever this quotient is, 27 divided by 60, 27 divided by 60, 45, 78, 45 degrees west, 47 point, whatever this is, 19 divided by 60, enter, 0.32. 0.32 degrees north and 0, 06 point whatever this is 42 divided by 60 equals 0. 0.7 degrees west i'm going to double check because it really helps so it's north west north west we are looking good here now we need to find the difference in longitude. So D low, find D low. The formula is basically D low equals longitude one minus longitude two. It just means the difference in longitude when really sometimes it starts to look different than that if we cross the prime meridian. But in this case, we're west and we're west. So we didn't cross the prime meridian. We didn't cross 180 degrees of longitude. What did we do? Let's grab this. Let's check this out. Where did we go? We'll start at, um, so here's zero, and we are west. We started at 78 west, 20, 40, 60, 80. We started about here, and we went to six west. So we went all the way back almost to zero. We went east. We went almost 80 degrees east. So our difference should be about 80. So longitude one, we're 78.45, 78.45 degrees west. And our longitude two is 6.7 west, 6.70 west. Okay, we traveled east. We need to name this thing. It's gonna be going to come in later so we traveled to the east and we looked at that so 78.45 78.45 minus 
6.7 equals 71.75 degrees east. We went 71.75 degrees east. This is our D low. Cool. Now we need to find distance. Find distance. And D low is part of that. The formula is cosine distance equals cosine lat 1 times cosine lat 2 times cosine d low plus or minus sine lat 1 times sine lat 2. This plus or minus, we'll, we'll bring that up here momentarily when we get there. So now we put, plug in numbers. Cosine lat 1, 24.87. 24.87 eight seven degrees times cosine lat two forty seven three two forty seven point three two times cosine d low seventy one seven five seven one point seven five plus or minus it's going to be plus in this case because we did not cross the equator we're in the northern hemisphere and we stayed there so plus Sine lat 1, 2487, 24.87 times sine lat 2, 4732, 47.32. Now let's crunch these numbers in the calculator. And we can do this whole string at once. We just open parentheses and say cosine 24.87 close times cosine 47.32 close times cosine 71.75 close that and close the whole thing and enter and 0 0.19261 0 0.19261 1, and again we added and we added to whatever this equals. Open those parentheses and say sine 24.87 close times sine 47.32 close close enter 0 0.30918 0 0.30918 let's add these two up we already have that one on our calculator so we plus 0.19261 enter 0 0.501790 0 0.50179 and remember this is actually the cosine of the distance we want distance well distance is equal to the inverse cosine 0 0.50179 so second inverse cosine point 501c3 no 501 59.88 degrees 59.88 degrees okay distance can be in degrees but in the problem it needs to be in miles so we need to get it to miles and do the, to do that we do 60 miles over one degree now the degrees cancel you're left with miles so what are we left with 59.88 which we have times 60 equals 3592.9 3592.9 miles is what we have for the distance don't let this this number is just for the problem just for the answer let's see 35.93 boom we nailed that but we need to go on and solve for course and don't mess this up because this distance here, we need to use distance in the next formula. The distance has to be in degrees. So let's keep going right up through here. And we say cosine initial course equals plus or minus sine lat 2 minus 
cosine distance times sine lat 1. And all of this is over. It's over sine distance. Sine distance times cosine lat 1. All right, let's start plugging in here. And this plus or minus, again, we, we did not cross the equator. We are, in, we are adding this. So we'll just say sine lat 2, 47.32, 47.32 minus cosine distance. Distance again, 59.88 degrees <clears throat> times sine lat 1. 24.87, all of this over sine distance, 59.88, 59.88 times cosine lat 1, 24.87. All right, and let's start plugging these into the calculator. So sine 47.32. Sine 47.32 equals 0 0.73515, 0 0.73515 minus whatever this number is. So open your parentheses. Cosine 59.88, close. Sine 20. 4.87, close, close, enter. 0 0.21104, 0 0.21104. All right, over, don't forget to put it over this. Open your parentheses and sine 59.88, close, times cosine 24.87, close, close, enter. 0.784, 76 0 0.78476. I often mess up right here. We have to subtract these and put it over this one again. So let's do that. 0 0.73515. 73515 minus 0 0.21104 equals 0.52411. 0 0.52411 over 0 0.78476. So we have this number, and we need to divide that by 0 0.78476. Enter. So 0 0.66786. Okay, and what is this? This is the cosine of initial course. We just want initial course. So initial course is actually equal to the inverse cosine of 0 0.66786. What is this equal? It's going to come out in quadrantal notation. Second cosine 0 0.66786. 48.1. So we have 48.1, but it's in quadrantal notation. We have to name it north or south based on lat 1. We are north. And east or west based on d low. d low is east. We're northeast. So if we graph this out to see what's going on, and we get north, south, east, and a west, then we say, okay, we're north. And we're 48 degrees north. We're like coming out here. And you see, uh, this is what we're looking for here is degrees from north, degrees true, because the problem's answers are in degrees true. So 48.1 is the same. It is degrees true. So 48.1 degrees true is our initial course. We got this, and we have this. And now let's look at our answers, see if we got close. It looks like the right answer, 5393, good, 5393, and 48.1.
We nailed it. That's the answer to practice problem seven.